So I've successfully created my Power BI account. The next thing is to sign in. Hello guys. In this video, we'll be creating a Power BI account. Now, there are so many reasons why you want to create a Power BI account. So you can use Power BI to do your extract data. You can use it to transform data. You can use it to even load data. And you can as well use it to do your visualization. But that's one thing. You cannot create a workspace. You cannot publish your work without having a Power BI account. If you don't have a Power BI account, it's not going to be possible for you to uh, publish your work after designing and visualizing on Power BI. And you cannot have an account without creating one. And you cannot use your normal email to create an account, your normal regular email, your name at gmail.com. You need a work email. I have a video here on how to create a work email. Please watch that video before you continue. So I'm going to be showing you how to create your account on Power BI and be able to publish your work and share with your friends and your colleagues at work. Come with me, let me show when you. When you come to this university website, for example, you can see when you go to their staff page, you can see this staff of electrical engineering. Now you can see this staff, you can see that all of their staff are using the work email. The university is asuit.edu.ng and this is how the work email looks. So this is this person's name and it ends, you know, your regular email ends with your name at gmail.com. But the work email ends with the organization's name your name at the organization's name.com or .ng or whatever that organization is, as you can see here, look at all of them. So this is how work email looks. Now, when you come to some apps like Power BI, look at Power BI, if you want to register on Power BI, Power BI cannot allow you to register as an individual with your normal email or name at gmail.com. So it must be a work email just like this one. So if I want to register on Power BI with this email, it is going to go through. But if I want to register with my own personal regular email, it is not going to go through. So, so you need a work email to access some platforms or apply for some scholarships. So the first thing you need to do is to put your regular email. So I'm going to put my regular email here. Then I'll click on submit. Power BI is a, is a visualization software that is owned by Microsoft, of course. So look at here, it has brought us here and it says, let's get you started. So the first thing it says that the email I used looks like a personal email. All right. Enter your work email address so we can connect you with others in your company. And don't worry, we won't share your address with anyone. So Power BI needs uh, a work email, not a personal email. Personal email cannot work. So uh, sign in with a work email. So you can't proceed at this point. You must have to sign in with the work email. So I'm going to click on sign in with a work email. Then I'm going to put my email. If I put this normal email again, it's not going to accept it. If I try to send it, it is going to reject it. It still rejected it. So I'm going to click on this and then put a work email. So this is a work email I created in my C panel here, as you can see. It's a work email and it has my domain name it has my name and then my company name at the end so i'm just going to proceed to microsoft i'll put that work email let's try and see if this is going to go through yes it worked it works looks like you need to create a new account microsoft fabric free is designed to be used by people collaborating with organizations so your email will be visible to others who also use chrisma.ng all right, so other people in my company is going, definitely going to see my email and know that this is my company email. So if you're working with a company, you can use their email. And if you're a student, you can also use a student email. If you, if you have a student email, just like this, so you can see that all the staff that works in this company, in this school, they have the school email. This is their work email. All right, so if you're working in an organization, you can use your company email if they have a domain. If they don't have, you can create one by yourself. I have a video here that, you know, explains how you can create a work email for yourself. But, but most schools, most universities actually have their own. You can have your, you can use your student email to sign into your school's uh, workspace if your school, you know, actually have a workspace. But as long as they have a, they have an email, then definitely you can use it. All right.
so now you just choose i got it from organization of course it's an organization then you click on next so the next thing is to, um, a text add a phone number is going to ask you to add a phone number so you just first you need to choose your country of residence so here you need to put your phone number because they are going to be sending you a text message to you know uh, it's a verification code so i'll click on verify send verification code from ms commerce i'm just going to put in the code five nine so right so i'm going to click on verify great so once that is done the next thing is that you create your account all right so here you need to put your first name put your last name put your country i'm going to select my country so i'm going to put my nigeria then i proceed so the phone number format you need because you selected your country here so you need to remove the first zero all right then you proceed your the work email is already there so the next thing you need to create a password so you need to you know confirm the password put the same password again all right so now you're going to move ahead put in the verification code that I sent to that email so i just come here and check from microsoft azure 251 so i just come here look at the code from my email account i copy the code come back here and put the code then i proceed i understand that microsoft may contact me about my trials all right so i would like to you know I like Microsoft to share my information with selected partners so I can receive relevant information. So fine, they can share my email. No problem. I, I can I, I don't mind. So I click on next. So here in the next stage, which is the final stage, you said your account is successfully created. Please sign in to continue. So I've successfully created my Power BI account. The next thing is to sign in. So the next thing is to sign in. I click on sign in. All right, so I just you know click on stay signed in click on yes you probably don't want to sign out you know just so guys this is amazing this is this is great so we've successfully created an account and they say thank you for signing up to microsoft fabric for free your username is chicksfrank at chrisma.ng that is my email so this is actually my uh my work email so i just click on get started so it's going to launch me into the uh, Power BI where I can create my workspace. And this is it. Voila. So guys, this is, this is amazing. We are logged into Power BI. Uh, these are different. Uh, these are different projects. You can see uh, these are just different dummy projects from, uh, from here. So you can see, uh, you can create, you can browse, you can, these are just so many things you can do with it. So this is the workspace. By default, you already have this, my workspace. This is the default workspace. So you can create small workspace for yourself, depending on the project you're working on, you can just, you know, create new workspace, name it accordingly and all that. But this, my workspace by default is already here. All the things you'll be doing with your Power BI, you can always have them in your workspace. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do after creating our account on the Power BI service, we need to also link this uh, Power BI desktop to that Power BI service so that they, we can synchronize because whatever we are doing here on the Power BI desktop, it is automatically going to be synchronized to our accounts or our workspaces or whichever workspace we we need to put it into in the power bi um, service so here you see sign up at the top right click on sign up then here you need to put in the email just put in that same work email you've created that same work email you used to create that account then click on continue we're just going to allow you to search for that uh, account on the power bi service and see if it already exists so you put in that same email here click on next it's going to look for this account then it's going to prompt you to put your password the same password you created uh while signing up and on the power service on the power bi service so 
you just put in the same password and it's so easy it's just going to link it up and that and and you'll be fine so guys it found my account and it has logged me in as you can see here it is now my name i'm already uh in i've already linked this account so it's been wonderful thank you so much for watching this video if this was helpful to you please drop a comment like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video